Let's talk about one of my biggest inspirations lately in interior design. This concept has directly impacted how I'm putting together my home, and it's all based on a Danish word that does not sound like the way that it's spelled. If you are a design super fan like myself, and you keep seeing this word pop up all over Google and Pinterest, it's pronounced Hygge, I think. And over the last couple of years, it's taken the world by storm. Although in true Hugo fashion, you'd probably be inside all snuggly and cozy while all the storming is happening outside. If you wanna learn all about this design style, then hit that like button so I can show you this super cute and cozy puppy. Also subscribe for future cute pictures and also uh, painting and decorating advice, of course. So this is style series where we go into detail on specific interior design styles that have had an impact in the past or are currently very much on trend. I'll tell you what Huga is, why it's popular, and also give you a couple of paint color options as a source of inspiration. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different though because technically speaking, Huga isn't necessarily an interior design style, but more so a much broader concept. It's that feeling of popping on your favorite fuzzy slippers when your toes are cold, or grabbing your favorite throw blanket to snuggle up with while the big game's on. And yeah, I like to get cute and cozy when I'm cheering on my raptors. We the North. It could even be as simple as getting a much needed hug from a loved one. Essentially anything that gives you that lovely feeling of comfort, coziness, and contentment. That's Huga. It's funny how one word can really describe so much. It often gets classified as a design style because you're starting to see more and more retailers producing accessories and furniture that kind of embody that message. Pieces that have a sense of familiarity through the use of more natural materials that we're all kind of familiar with. You're also seeing an abundance of fuzzier and fluffier pillows, big chunky knit wool blankets, and an abundance of nice area rugs. So really, you can incorporate the concept of Huga in a variety of interior design styles when you think about it, but you'll tend to see a lot of it in Scandinavian inspired design specifically. My interpretation of Huga in design is an offshoot of Scandi design. It basically takes the clean and streamlined feel of Scandi and adds or amplifies those warmer, cozier components, which can really help add to that homey, perhaps slightly rustic feel. This doesn't just include material things like fur rugs and fuzzy socks, but also things that are a little more experiential, like candles, a nice big fireplace, or even some incense to really set the mood. You can even argue that your favorite relaxing music can help foster that feeling of Huga. So now that we know what Huga is and how it relates to interior design, the next question we have to answer is why is it becoming more and more popular today? Well, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but a lot of us have spent a lot more time at home these last couple years. And with that uptick of being at home, a lot of people want it to feel as cozy and comfortable as possible for the sake of their well being. Conveniently, these are all qualities that represent Huga. Even if you were away from the house, when you come home after a long day of grinding it out, I would imagine you would want to arrange your space comfortably so you can completely decompress and enjoy the little things that we always seem to take for granted. I know for me, I want my home to have as many places to flop out and huga as possible. I think this whole surge in popularity was a combination of timing, where we all needed and deserved a home that truly felt like a home, but there's also something about it that feels pretty timeless, because it's a concept that feels way beyond any passing trend. I don't think we'll ever not want to feel cozy, comfortable, and content in the place that we spent most of our time in. That's the goal at least. So being a paint channel, let's talk about some paint colors that can help you build a Huga inspired home. Well, we can start with a Scandi palette because of the close relation between the two and the base of it all could be some form of off-white. I would recommend leaning more towards warm whites rather than cool whites. This means instead of a bright stark white, I might use something a bit softer, like maybe White Dove in Benjamin Moore or Alabaster in Sherwin-Williams. As clean as pure white can be, it sometimes can make your home feel a little closer to an art gallery or maybe a hospital rather than somewhere you can really relax in. And that's an important aspect of Huga. That would be the first little adjustment that I would make. And as far as colors within the mid-tone grouping are concerned, there are several directions you can really go with this. In general, I would maybe recommend something that's pretty neutral feeling. So 
essentially a version of gray. Sorry to all my gray haters watching. And I would be careful not to opt for something that's either right in the middle or cold. You probably have a more natural fit with a warmer leaning gray, but that doesn't mean you need something that's beige leaning, which some people can find a bit tired these days. By opting for something like Portland gray, that gives you another direction you can take your color palette in by going for a more red or brown based warmth rather than a yellow or green leaning one. I do think that the very slight purple undertone this color gives has a really soothing quality to it, which is akin to coziness that maintains itself even with different lighting conditions. This isn't to say that you can't pick a cool color and still have it feel comforting to you. A lot of people do gravitate towards colors like gray Timberwolf, for example, because even though it may resemble a darkened sky, that is also the same color associated with staying indoors during a rainy day, which also gives me comfort. So it's strange how certain colors can resonate with us in different ways, but that is really the fundamental takeaway of all of this. You can look at Huga and its influence on design in a number of different ways, but really it comes down to whatever gives you that visceral, undeniable feeling of coziness that is Pretty hard to describe. Here's a video that I think you'll be really interested in. It just ties directly into what we talked about today, and it's a complete color palette that you can use in your home.